as mothers, as wives, as daughters, as sisters, um, we assume the re responsibility so many times of being uh, the caretakers and the caregivers. And um, there are women who have just stepped up because there was a need. I started hearing about the preparation for the bicentennial, the 200th birthday of uh, the United States of America. And I thought, well, this would be a good idea to get some book jackets for my teachers and for the students to learn about local black history. Uh, I decided to call the downtown library because there were no, obviously no books in my library. It was an all white school. So the person who answered put me on hold and then came back after what seemed a long period of time and said, well, we only have a folder with, folder with obituaries about black people. And I was stunned. So after I collected myself, I said, why? And the answer she gave changed my life and the entire uh, community as it relates to black history. And I shall never forget it. She said, I guess those people haven't thought enough of themselves to write their history. I thought about it for a minute. She didn't say it with any malice. She didn't say it braggadocious. You know, she wasn't bragging about it. She just said it matter of fact. I guess those people haven't thought enough of themselves to write their history. It occurred to me that I was there for a special reason because uh, I'd never heard of a historical society before and it certainly had never been to one. And so I started reading the journals and I found out that there was something called Archives Administration that was just starting. Uh, and so I was able to go to Emory University to get certification in Archives Administration. I selected Emory, there was many schools offering it, but because it was in Atlanta and I had finished Spelman, I asked Dr. Donald Stewart, who was president of Spelman at the time, if uh, he would allow me to uh, have two dormitory rooms because I was gonna bring my, my children. Uh, when I was growing up, my mother would always take me with her to graduate school. And as a part of that program, so it was suggested that for my paper, that I write a paper for the development of a black photographic archives. And so I did, I had no idea, no idea that it would in fact, that it was so much needed and that it would in fact become an institution. Being able to collect information, process it and make it available to school children uh, was my primary responsibility and love. And of course, researchers from the universities, from, uh, uh, from the media, uh, scholars, have all come uh, to use this collection to help tell the story, not only of uh, Miami-Dade County, but uh, bl the black experience in the urban South.